Hey everybody, got something here today I have been looking forward to for a while now. I first heard about this coming out back at the uh, the Mother Earth News Fair um, this year, and I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these, and it has come. So I'm super excited to get into this. This is the Pioneer Box from the homesteadbox.com. It's a new monthly subscription box uh, service type thing. Um, you guys have seen, there's tons of them out there, but... Um, I've always loved the idea of getting one of those every month, but there's never been one that I was excited about. Never one that I was like, ooh, I want, you know, a bunch of stuff around this topic to come in the mail to me every month. But this is a homestead box full of gear, specifically geared toward homesteaders. So this is awesome, and I've been really looking forward to this coming out. So there's two versions of the Homestead Box from the homesteadbox.com. There's the classic version and the pioneer version, which is what this is. The classic version is $49.99 a month, while the pioneer box is $99.99 a month. Both have six months free shipping um, right now. So another great deal uh, to the Homestead Box. So get right into, this is the first thing you see once you open the box. I've already opened the box and taken away a lot of the packing material so we can get to the items easier. But um, it, it's got this, page right here when you first open the box it tells you tool and leather care basically an overview on the items that are going to be inside the box this month on the other side it shows you everything that's actually in the box as well as a brand spotlight which is otter wax this time so that's very cool um, find out a little bit more about that company at otterwax.com and um, a look at what you're going to get in this box so tool and leather care I think something that's overlooked a lot as far as homesteading goes, you need all kinds of different tools and stuff like that, but you've also got to maintain them. And that's where this box comes in handy, uh, the introductory box. It's got a lot of stuff geared towards, um, it's either, they are either our tools themselves or they're things to maintain your tools to keep them in good working order. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go right down the list as they've listed the things here. And I'll also try to let you know, um, give you an idea of the actual value um, or what you would pay for these items if you were going to go and buy them individually. So first up on the list we've got a Lansky Puck. So most of you, um, if you are homesteaders or into the homesteading type thing, you're familiar with what a Lansky Puck is. It's basically a dual grit sharpener. Um, one side's got a more coarse grit and the other side's a more fine grit. And they work great for sharpening your axes, um, I use them on spade shovels, stuff like that. They work great to just maintain an edge that's not too out of control, um, just to touch it up. So, Lansky Puck, something everybody should have. And on Amazon.com, the uh, the price I found was six dollars and twenty six cents. So six twenty six so far. Next up, the Haas Farmer's File, which is right here. Now this is a Really nice heavy duty file. Uh, great grooves in it, it's gonna cut great. It manufactured by Mercer. Um, really nice file, and this, as an aside from this video here, um, this is offered by Haas Tools, um, the company behind the Homestead Box, and, uh, and they sell these for a great deal on their website, and that's where I found the best deal on this file, actually, so um, $5.99 at, uh, at Haas Tools. So, if you're just in the market for a file and not necessarily the box, head over to Haas Tools and check this out. But uh, you're not going to beat that price. So $5.99 for this file. Going to be great for when you got a really bad edge on your axe. Uh, maybe you hit a rock. Um, again, any kind of tool that's really screwed up the edge. Or if you just need to, to clean some burrs up on something or whatever else, this is your bet right here. Next up, the Ace Sanding Block. Right here. All right, so Jumbo Sanding Sponge from Ace. Um, Amazon.com again, $9.31. Um, I looked at a couple places, but in order to find this exact one, I couldn't find it. So um, with shipping, you're looking at $9.31 from Amazon to buy this. It's a three by five by one inch um, sanding sponge. These are great again for knocking rust down off your tools. Um, a little bit of fine touch up sharpening. They actually compress if you need to get around curved edges or something. Um, these work great for that. I use these all the time for lots of different projects. Um, not necessarily just tool maintenance, but these things always come in handy. And uh, nice to see one in the box there. Next up is Sunny Seed 
boiled linseed oil. So, sunny side, did I say sunny seed? <laughs> sunny side, boiled linseed oil. Boiled linseed oil, um, you need this for everything. I use this all the time, put it on my axe handles, stuff like that. Um, it comes in handy for any number of things. Um, your wood furniture, stuff like that, great protectant for, for any type of wood. Use it on tool handles, shovels, rakes, all that kind of thing. Um, axe handles, basically anything wood, a nice coat of this. Um, it's gonna preserve it, maintain it. And Sunnyside is the brand I use. I don't know if there's a lot of difference in the chemical makeup between the Sunnyside brand and the kind uh, in the blue bottle that everybody gets from Walmart or whatever. This is what I've been using for a long time now. Um, I just prefer it. $13.96 um, off of Amazon. And definitely, again, this is something that anybody who's going to be a homesteader needs to have. Uh, you got to be able to maintain your tools and to let the, the wood handles on your stuff get dried out, uh, make them brittle, they break easier. Boiled linseed oil is, uh, is the way to go in my book and something awesome to see in the box. So, again, that's a quart of Sunnyside boiled linseed oil. Um, $13.96. Next up, a uh, leather strop. Where's that at? Right here. So, basically, it's a piece of leather. You take this, you, uh, you glue it. I've seen some where people put small screws around the edges just to a block of wood. Put some honing compound, which we might as well get that out now as well. Somewhere in here. Ah, uh, there it is. Right there. Marbles Green Honing Compound. Also comes in the box. Um, you take this, you rub it on there, run your knife blade, whatever you've got across there, just to get that, that fine final edge on there. Um, but again, leather strop, just attach this. Actually, right here on the back of the tool and leather care, it talks about, it shows you right there how you attach that to a block of wood, run your blade across there, um, just to get that final edge on it. Again, with the marbles honing compound. This right here, leather strop on Amazon, the most similar thing I could find, $9.58. Um, I actually couldn't find this size of the marbles honing compound, but um, I mean, you're looking at a couple bucks for this stuff. When I buy it, I typically buy it larger. They, they sell these in one pound. Um, you can buy these in a few different sizes, but uh, couple bucks for one of these but again something you've got to have uh, I, I mean you don't have to have it but it makes things a lot easier for you if you do so you're looking at um, again 958 for the strop uh, a couple bucks for this honing compound what's next um, the open L all right next up we've got an open L number eight, and again, I've taken this out of the package um, just to make it a little bit easier, but these are great if you're not familiar with them. Um, they come super sharp always. Uh, just a little knife there. It's got a little slide lock. Keep that from closing. Um, super, super sharp. And these are great. I use these for um, cutting graphs and stuff like that. So there are, there's lots of uses um, for knives, obviously, but as far as homesteading goes, I mean, if you don't have a knife, it's probably going to be your most used tool, or at least it is mine for any number of things, including opening up your homestead box. But this is an open L number eight um, on Amazon.com for $12.85. These are uh, a great little knife from France and everybody's favorite. These have been around for a really long time and, uh, and really popular. So awesome thing for them to throw in there. Definitely a lot of uses for that around the homestead. Next are probably, this is a little bit crazy probably, but my two favorite parts of the Homestead box. I'll just bring them both out at once. This is two things from Otter Wax. Um, leather salve and saddle soap. Super important. Um, the boots we buy as part of our Homestead gear, uh, you know, we gotta wear boots. We do a lot of stuff in the mud, this and that. You've got to take care of them. I mean, you spend three, four, five hundred dollars for a pair of boots. I mean, even if you spend fifty dollars for a pair of boots, you want to get your money's worth. You want to maintain those. Any other type of of leather products that you have, you've got to maintain that leather, um, or it's no good for you. You know, your your tools are only 
good for you. They're only going to keep working for you as long as you take care of them and, and your leather stuff's no different. And I really like the Otter Wax brand. Um, this is petroleum free stuff here, so big fan of it. But this is, uh, this is again their leather salve. It's just carnauba and shea conditioner um, and their saddle soap. It's all natural. Again, beeswax, Castile cleanser, both excellent products. Um, big fan of everything that Otter Wax makes and they are, again, the, the featured brand here in the brand spotlight um, on the card here for the Homestead box. So Amazon.com, $9.95 for a two ounce leather salve, $9.95 for a two ounce saddle soap. Both something I would definitely recommend. Um, we've got two more items. I'll say the biggest one for last. We'll go on to these next. These Expedition Field Notes. If you're not familiar with these, which you, you probably are, um, a lot of people have these. There's different colors. There's different types of these. This is the. Uh, these are from FieldNotesBrand.com, and I think these are the Expedition Field Notes, I believe. Um, but what it is, is if you're not familiar with these, you're probably familiar with the Right in the Rain products. And this is just like that. This paper in here, it's, um, it's almost like plastic, but it's very easy to write on still. You can't tear it. I mean, I mean, you probably could, but it's very, very hard to tear. Um, and you can write on these if you, you know... For your gardening, stuff like that. If you're out there, you want to keep track of plants, you seeds that you've planted, stuff like that. Anytime you're going to have a need to have notes. And if you're going to carry it around with you on the homestead, maybe in a pocket or something like that, there's a good chance it's going to get wet at some point. You can write on these. The ink's not going to run. Um, these are awesome. They don't, they don't look to be much, just small little notebooks. But they're great little notebooks. If you're someone that's into keeping notes, if, if you're like me and you like to have things on paper instead of in your phone or whatever other digital means you have, which, I mean, that, that stuff's great, but I prefer to have it right on paper with me. These are the way to go as far as I'm concerned. And these come in, uh, I did find these on Amazon, $12.95 for a three-pack of the Expedition Field Notes. Big fan of these as well. And finally, on to the last item. I did not expect to see that in there. That is uh, a Condor Greenland Axe, and I believe it was just over 16 inches in length. I think it's a one and a half pound head. It's got a nice leather mask. Open this up and show you. Pretty decent edge, right out of the box, and I'm pretty sure, I believe these are hand forged in El Salvador. Um, Santa Ana, El Salvador, yeah. So. Condor makes a decent product. Um, I've got a bit of an axe fetish, as a lot of you guys know, uh, and I do have some Condor axes, and I'm very fond of them. They do make nice products, and typically um, a great value as far as what you would pay for a comparable axe from another manufacturer. Um, Condor packs a good value in there, and this is a this is a great little axe. You could use this for a lot of different things around the homestead. Um, and it's and it's good quality. Comes with your leather mask already. You don't have to bother making one or picking one up separately. And I uh, found this on Amazon for sixty dollars and thirty one cents. So if you add all this up, again, this is the Pioneer box. Comes in at ninety nine ninety nine per month with free shipping. Uh, my total for everything. Uh, I got prices off of Amazon for everything except for the marbles green. Honing compound. I just couldn't find one this size on there. Again, this isn't super expensive, but it is super important. This is going to come in at just a couple bucks for something about this size. Um, and the other, only other item I didn't find on Amazon was the um, the farmer's file, which it, there's no point in looking anywhere else. Your best bet on this, five ninety nine from Haas Tools. You're not going to beat that. So the Mercer file and the marbles honing compound the only two i didn't find on amazon everything else i've listed the prices as we've gone through the video my total came out to 151 dollars and 11 cents and that's with free shipping on items where where it was available and uh prime if you're a prime member um free shipping with that you're gonna pay a little bit of shipping um depending on where you pick this up a little bit of shipping if you go through Haas tools to get one of these 
But uh, my total, based on what I found, not counting any shipping, $151.11. So you're paying $99 for this, shipped to your door, $151.11 worth of items in there. And that's not retail prices, again, that's Amazon prices, which is probably going to be your best bet most times as far as value goes. So I'm really impressed with the first introductory box from the homesteadbox.com. Hopefully you guys are as well. Um, Sam Baker is the project manager for the Homestead Box over at Haas Tools. Um, and I'm, I've dealt with them a, a good bit. Awesome guys, the whole company. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with the Haas Tools products as far as the wheel hose go and stuff like that. Um, you would think a company like that would be a pretty large company to manufacture those and, uh, and send them all over the world like they do, but they're not. Um, they're a rather small company with just a handful of employees and uh, and they do a great job over there. Uh, Travis is who I've dealt with at Haas Tools. His dad, Greg, an awesome guy. I talked to them out at the uh, at the Mother Earth News Fair. It was great to deal with them and uh, I knew this was coming and I, I could not wait to get my hands on it. And there's a lot of value in here for sure and, and all products that are useful. There's not a you know a 2XL t-shirt in here that you're never gonna wear like a lot of the boxes have or you know, a little stuffed animal or a sticker or a magnet for your fridge or stuff that you're never going to use that you don't want. Um, there's just a lot of items that you're actually going to use on and around the homestead that all have value to you. So really impressed with this. Um, they are interested in your feedback. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in a homestead type of monthly subscription box. Um, tell me what you would like to see in here. Are, are there things as far as homesteading goes that you would be interested in and looking at it and and at the the classic or the pioneer version of the box for the fifty dollar or the hundred dollar box what would you like to see in there um i i thought I, I think seeds would be nice in a homestead box something like that maybe some pruner stuff that you can you know work around the garden and things like that so leave your comments below i'm anxious to see um what you guys think about this box and what you'd like to see in future boxes and and all that feedback is going to go right back to the company and uh, and they're very good about stuff like that. So I would I would assume that a lot of the information that is gained from these videos will be um, implemented into future boxes. So look forward to seeing some more of these in the future. So far, the first box, great value. Um, I know those guys are not going to put junk in future boxes, but I hope they can keep up the value that they've gotten this one throughout. Um, and I'm sure they will. But again. Leave your comments below. I'm anxious to see what you guys think about it. And thanks for watching. Also, one more thing importantly. Um, if you go to their site at thehomesteadbox.com, up in the very top left-hand corner, they're doing a monthly giveaway. Um, and they're giving away some great stuff. I will, uh, I'll give you some information for that, as well as links to everything below, um, to the Homestead Box, as well as the giveaway, and everything else you need to know about this stuff. But make sure you check out that monthly giveaway. Again, if you go to thehomesteadbox.com, the top left corner, you'll see something that says monthly giveaway. They were going away a few axes. Um, I can't remember exactly what they were. I know there were a couple of console velvet cuts, like maybe a 28-inch Dayton and a 36-inch Dayton, and as well as, I think, a condor, maybe a splitting axe, and a firewood roll, a tool roll. There's some really cool stuff that they're giving away. Uh, that I would definitely, it doesn't cost you anything to get into it. You're not obligated to anything. Just check out the uh, the giveaway there. Get registered for that, if nothing more. And also, I'll leave a link below to the Homestead Box. They've got a YouTube channel now. And as of right now, they've only got 16 subscribers. So um, go on over there and maybe give them a subscription. If you're interested in this kind of thing, uh, check out their videos. Tell them that, that Coping With The Time sent you over and give them a subscription. But anyway, there's links for everything below in the description homesteadbox.com. Thanks for sending this out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.